Now, I have two of these. They are different. If you've seen my videos, you'll know what I'm on about. I have the Chase. I have the regular. I usually keep Chase's, you know, mint in the box. When I ordered them, I actually ordered that. Um, but I ended up getting the Chase. You know, sometimes that happens, you get the Chase. It's it's random. Um, but that was what I was after. And when that came, I thought, oh, cool, I've got the Chase. But I'm actually the one I wanted. But it's cool. I don't know what to do with that one, whether to unbox it or not. We're going to unbox this one, because that's the regular one anyway that I wanted. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to keep that mint in the box or open it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do with the Chase one. Um, but anyway, let's get on with uh, unboxing this one. Yeah, so as I say, we are unboxing the regular Yokozuna Ultimate Edition. Is this the one I really wanted uh, that one's cool don't get, one, get me wrong though the, you know the white over red is awesome that's the classic yoko that we all remember well, that was the one that i wanted as you most of you know when it comes to ultimates i like to collect that sort of golden era stroke new gen i guess uh, but you know you know that sort of that that sort of time um i do have some ultimates that aren't from that era like, for example, I did buy the, the Roman Reigns Ultimate uh, in the Smiths a while back, just because it's Roman, <laughs> pretty much. Um, but yeah, I tend to not really buy... I can't get this seller take off. I tend to not really buy the Ultimates unless they're, you know, from the Golden Era, Stroke, maybe New Gen, early New Gen. Um, really, it's to kind of just keep the cost... That, you know spending down and also i don't have the room for it anymore I'm re i've outgrown this room now uh so that's why that is why really but while we're here we are going to open this ultimate yokozuna now we open that and i mean it is just it is just awesome look at that straight away there we go look at that i mean it won't be much different to the royal rumble elite version you'll have the uh shoulder um, butterfly joints etc will be a bit different we'll try and give it a little compare perhaps uh, if i remember but <laughs> anyway so let's start with the accessories he's got his um sort of like robe thing here the black and white checkered robe if i can get it out christ who thought getting a robe out would have been such hard work bloody hell so that there we'll open it up so you can see what it is. So that's his robe with the, obviously the bits where you tie it up at the front. We'll keep that out because we will put that on him at some point, probably towards the end when we're having it in full display mode. He's got a few accessories, he's got a couple of heads, or a couple of spare heads, got three in total with the one that's on him, but two spare heads. Got that beautiful winged eagle championship belt. We'll get into that, don't worry, we will get there. He's got some spare hands, got some open palms, Got some closed fists and then the ones that are on him are like the mic holding hands. We'll get into them, like I say. But let, let's get the whole plastic insert out first because it just makes things a bit easier, doesn't it? We'll move that box back there. And yeah, we'll get into this as quick as we can. I, I don't need to keep repeating myself. I hate the plastic tags. I wish they do away from it. It's not going to make a difference. Everything's staying put, isn't it? It doesn't need the plastic tags. But let's get these plastic tags broken off. I hate just having those little plastic tags in my room. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go through and pick them all up when I, when I find them and stuff. But yeah, we can get this out. Look at that bunder. Look at that bunder. Just, just noticing that there. <laughs> right, I think that's the plastic tags off of the hands. So we'll get the spare hands out. One closed fist. Two closed fist. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> One open hand. Ah, ah, ah. Two open hand. Ah, ah, ah. Next, we'll get some of them spare heads out. So let's get the ah one out first. Out there 
Next we've got is uh, that one. Yeah, that one. Awesome face scans, by the way. We'll look at it when we get that one out. Might as well get the Wind Eagle Championship out next. Always nice to have a championship belt, especially one as beautiful as it. Yes. That's very nice, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very nice. And now it's on to the main event. It is the figure itself, of course. Now, obviously, the figure is awesome, but what makes a figure sometimes is the accessories. We do have his sand bucket, or water bucket, whatever it is, sand bucket thing, wasn't it? We do have his robe. We do have the Winged Eagle Championship, but come on, man, this figure. I mean, if you grew up in a time when I grew up, you know Yokozuna. You know Yokozuna. He was awesome. Let's have him in figure form. He's absolutely grand. Look at that. Now that's a big figure in hand. You hold that in your hand. That is a big figure. But look, look at that bunda. I feel like they've got that pretty spot on that bunda check that out <laughs> that is awesome right so he is an ultimate so he, he does have that torso but i think because he's such a big figure even the elite has that same torso the difference is now obviously we've got these butterfly shoulder joints butterfly shoulder joints so that is awesome makes out obviously double double jointed uh, elbows we have that on the elite anyway but it's these shoulders what really make it the difference isn't it really Yeah, that is a great figure. He's got the big bow in his back because obviously he's you know portraying a sumo wrestler. It's supposed to be Japanese. His gimmick was a Japanese sumo wrestler, but those who know know he was not actually Japanese. He was Samoan because he's actually related to the likes of Roman Reigns and the Usos and you know Rosie and Jamal. He's that that line of Samoans. He's from that family. A fantastic wrestling family but that is an awesome awesome figure now he obviously has the toe articulation because he is an ultimate the elites don't have that unless you're the usos the usos had that in their elites and Shotzi blackheart i mentioned toe articulation a lot it bugs me i don't know why they gave it to the usos and like no one else I didn't give it to new roman reigns or anything but the usos got it don't know why Shotzi got it i don't know why but anyway yes this is a great figure decent bit of articulation there really i mean he's not going to move amazingly he's a big bloke so he's not gonna he, he wasn't like a big agile guy he was just a big guy but yes these face scans these are these are awesome they really are great face scans there's that oh now i think i will just get that elite down and give it a bit of a compare so bear with me right now then so ultimate elite same size certainly height wise torso movement actually the elite the elite has actually got a lot more movement in it than the ultimate that's the elite movement that's the ultimate <laughs> there's not much movement in the ultimate and you pay more for the ultimate because it's meant to have more articulation Oh, amazing. Let's take a look at the back sides of them. Uh, I do believe they are of the same sized buttocks. But yeah. Only very slightly different on the uh, torso. See the chest area? This one looks to have that little bit more like tonage, bit of muscle ripness up here. Whereas that one is, the ultimate is just like a flabby skin, I suppose. Just a fat skin, but that one seems to have a little bit more yeah tonedness to it but all in all everything's pretty much the same obviously to articulation that one not that one but yeah look at them back to back the bows are the same size everything's pretty much the same it's just it really it, it, it to be honest it really is just them shoulders as you can see elite ultimate but yeah the elite has a lot more torso movement so that's interesting that's interesting that's the royal rumble elite yokozuna but as i said we are going to put the robe on 
Yokozuna and see what he looks like with it fully dressed. So there he is with his robe on and there he is with his championship over his shoulder. So you know what, all in all, this is a great figure. It's like I say, really interesting that the Elite has a better torso movement, but as a figure, this is fantastic. We, we love it, you know, it. it fits into my collection lovely because it is golden era, ultimate. That is what I collect in the ultimates. Just like I say, to keep space down, cost, you know, spending down. But there we are. There is Yoko Zuna in all his glory, I dare say. We just kind of need a Mr. Fuji, don't we, to go with him waving that Japanese flag. But there we are, there is Yokozuna. I'm gonna leave it there. Don't want this video to drag on for too long. Just wanna say thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought to this figure, what you thought to the video. Have a nice day, and I'll catch you on the next one.